I'm Lisi and I sell something called a zine. I've been making zines for almost a year now and selling them through Instagram. They all focus on representation of people of color in music as well as racial issues in modern America. I want to educate people on their unconscious biases and bring attention to racial discrimination. And what better way to do that than with a publication, just like John Mitchell Jr. He uses journalism to speak out against racial injustices and inequality, which is something I like to do. John Mitchell Jr. made a difference. He helped organize boycotts and protests with just a newspaper, and I hope to do the same. In 1884, he became the editor of the Richmond Planet, one of the only black newspapers at the time. The Planet was released weekly and advocated for racial equality and civil rights. He helped organize the 1904 Richmond Streetcar Boycott and greatly contributed to the anti-lynching movement and was called the Fighting Editor. In some ways, he reminds me of another activist, Malcolm X. Malcolm X believed that black people had a right to defend themselves and should fight for equality by any means necessary. Mitchell used the newspaper to speak out and prevented many lynchings by protesting against them and teaching people how to stay safe, arming themselves being one way. Unfortunately, he received threats and was endangered by doing so. Mitchell once wrote, The best remedy for a lyncher or a cursed midnight rider is a 16-shot Winchester rifle in the hands of a deadshot Negro who has nerve enough to pull the trigger. While some people might say that his words are promoting violence, I see it as inspiring because it shows how brave and unapologetic he is. Being fearless and unapologetic is important to me because I've noticed that the people who have those qualities have the power and determination to make the most social change.